Hey guys, it's Woody here over at USA Made Blade, and I am here tonight to talk to you about the Hinder MP1. These were just released at Blade Show about a week and a half ago from the time we're filming this, and this is the full tie version. I believe they're going to be making a G10 model, and I think the full tie version is going to kind of be a limited run, but I don't know 100%, so I'll keep my mouth shut on that. But we were lucky enough to bring some of these back from Blade Show, and I kept one because I was just so amazed by it. And going to give you a little bit of my feedback on it, tell you what I'm, I think of it, uh, some things that I've, I really appreciate about it, and then we'll move on to the comparison portion of this. So, quick thing to get out of the way, let's go over the specs. I believe it's seven and a quarter inches overall length. Blade length is three and a quarter inches, so right between that three and three and a half. Um, great, great feel on the handles. And let's see here, uh, that wasn't even a spec, but uh, I think we're talking about six ounces on our scale. So right around six is what we're gonna go with. A few things to note on this. Uh, let's start with the flipping. <laughs> I've, I've pulled all of ours. We've gotten our, our first run of these in, and I pulled them all out and just checked them to make sure everything's good on them. They, there wasn't a problem, and they all flip great. They've got good detent on them. They, they, they've got good action. Um, so we move past that. Let's talk about this texturing on the scales. I wasn't sure what to think of that when I saw pictures of it, and then I got it in my hand. And if you look at that, kind of get your fingers on there when you're gripping a knife real hard. And I've had this in my hands. I've got pretty good size hands. I've had this in my hands. I've had this in smaller hands and, and slightly bigger hands. And everybody kind of goes, wow, I really notice that texturing. So when you want to grip that thing hard, that texturing really pays off. Unlike anything I've seen on a titanium full tie knife before. So texturing is really cool. Another thing to note, these come already preset with the new Hinder, uh, Hinder Modular Backspacer System. That's a mouthful. But basically, to give you a quick idea of that, you've got a little bit that you put in here. You don't have to take the knife apart. You pull the backspacer out and you replace it. And they're coming out with all sorts of stuff. You'll notice on this one, there is no lanyard hole except on that backspacer. So these have a lanyard hole. Uh, but you'll also be able to take it out, say you're heading to the bar with the boys and you want to have a bottle opener. Eventually you'll be able to put a bottle opener in there. I think that's coming pretty soon. Let's say you got to go to work and you're an EMT, police officer, uh, anything along those lines. They're going to have a glass breaker you can put in here. And the sky's the limit. So the Hender Modular Backspacer System, already preset on these, is really, really cool. Great concept from Rick. And, and just amazed by it. And we've, we've gotten some of the modular backspacer systems in for the uh, XM18 models, and they've been moving pretty darn well And because uh, it's a cool concept. So I think people are really going to catch on to it the more it gets out there. But that's about it on this knife. I mean, just blown away. S35 blade, uh, your, your typical hinderer quality. I mean, they just they knock it out of the park. All the guys over at Hinder, I'm just impressed with these. Keep up the great work. So let's move from here. Let's show you guys some comparison picks to some other knives so you can get an idea if this is something you might want to put in your pocket. So we'll be back in just a second to show these off. All right, guys, we're back with you and figured we'd start off uh, start off the comparison picks with another Hinder knife. Uh, this is the XM24 Skinner on top, and obviously the MP1 on the bottom. And as you can tell, the 24 is a good bit bigger. And let's move over to the XM18. This is the Bowie model. And as you can tell, you get a hopefully you can tell, you get a little bit more blade length with it. And handle length's about the same, except you're adding in that, that spacer on the end for the, the modular spacer. And while we're 
So on XM18, so let's go ahead and throw in the Skinner for you. Just give you a size comparison there. Let's move that out of the way. Yeah, we got a wrinkle on our fabric, but we're just going to move ahead here. And we've over to some zero tolerance models. This is the new for 2016 ZT0909. 0909 is a good bit longer, definitely heavier and a little bigger. It's a different, it's a both tanks, one's just a different tank. And let's, while we're doing 2016 models, let's throw in the 220 from ZT. Both full tie. I'll line that up a little better. Blade length's definitely longer on the 220. Hopefully that'll give you guys some ideas on that. And let's just stay on ZT. I'm sure the one everybody's curious about with zero tolerance is, of course, the 562 CF. And 562 CF's got that extra quarter inch of blade as well. Um, interesting, though, the, the handle thickness on these is a little closer than you'd imagine. The handle thickness on the MP1's a little thinner, just, just slight, than the XM18's. So there's the 562, that was the CF model for those that have that. And then let's go with some knives that are very common. Uh, lots of people have them and lots of people are familiar with them. So if you're just getting into hinder knives and you've got a bench made griptilian, this will give you an idea. Griptilian's just slightly longer. And speaking of popular knives or, or knives that are a lot of people own uh, Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And I believe cutting edge on these is, is very close. But uh, just throwing that in there to give you guys an idea. And back over to Benchmade real quick. I was personally asked to include the tie monolock in this, in this one. So there's the Benchmade tie monolock compared to the MP1. Hopefully that's helping at least one person I know of out. And I'm going to jump back over to ZT. I always like to show off one of our anodized knives, and this is the 456. If you've watched some of our other videos, you know how much I love the 456, and this one's anodized Sunrise. Just had to throw one in and love both of these knives. And no video of mine is ever complete without doing something in a comparison with the Southern Grind. This is the Southern Grind Spider Monkey. We've sold a lot of these and always appreciate our good friends over at Southern Grind as well. And I uh, hope, hope some of our Southern Grind Spider Monkey owners, this helps them out when they're considering the MP1. And we're gonna finish this one off. I think this is very appropriate. This is the Spartan Blades Harsey Folder. It was the 2016 Blade Show American Made Knife of the Year. And find it kind of fun that uh, Spartan and Hender have been hanging out, playing golf, doing some shooting and things like that. So I wanted to make a shout out to both of them just to appreciate both of their time at Blade Show and looking forward to continue working with, with, with them as well. And Spartan Harsey Folders, the full tie as well. And as you can tell, it's definitely bigger, probably closer between a 24 and 18 mix, but just wanted to throw that in there. So that's it, boys and girls. This is the Hender MP1. Uh, this is the full tie version, and these are in stock at usamadeblade.com, and hopefully will be by the time you're able to watch this video. But if not, we certainly hope it helps you out. And as always, we appreciate you watching. Have a great day.